Pete the Silent Gamer, Tobias Gall, Draco, Sir, <laughs> Assassin, Andrew, doing well, doing well. Let's get logged into this game. This thing we call Seven Days to Die. Let me get this sound going. And boom, there we go. We're on the Let's Play Sugar Muffin. Hello. We are on the Let's Play today because I got some things to do. I got some things to take care of. And uh, let's get the birdies chirping, even though I don't see any birdies. I hear them. Oh! Our fuel ran out. Draco, did you let my fuel run out in here, man? Son of a gun. I tell you what. All the fuel's gone. Well, let's get those fueled back up. Tell you what, we're going to do 56 in all. Three, because... Get them up and going. Absolute rider. Go with your morning coffee. Yeah, I'm having a little morning coffee myself. 7.51 in the morning. Now buck up, Kevin. All right. Bob. Bob. <laughs> you all are probably like, it's too early in the morning to have Grand Spartan yelling at me. Can't help it. I'm excited. I'm excited. Well, we're 29,000 glass. Uh, ooh, we could do... Well, we we're going to do insulators. That's what we're going to do. Except for I need one of those tool and die thingamajiggies. I'll have to take it out of this. have a lot of things to do, folks. I uh, decided, uh, decided to stream this today... Because, uh, oh, look at that, 1,500. We do 1,500 of those. Believe that? Just like that. Ooh, that's all of our clay. All the clay is gone. Let me get another stack of clay. Yeah, plenty of clay. So if you've been keeping up with the uh, Let's Play series, you know we've been working on the exterior lighting. All right? And today's uh, episode is going to focus on that. We're going to stream today's Let's Play. Going to have a stream this evening too. Don't worry. I'll be back this evening with the uh, stream series. All right. Now I need a little bit of this. And glass jars. Do we have any other glass jars in here before I take off? I think we used them all. Because uh, we're making glue over here. Uh, well, we made glue over here. My bad. Let's get that put away. Tell you what, now instead of putting it away, let's take a thousand of that. Let's go over to the workbench. Sheila Cox, good morning. Uh, duct tape. Duct tape by 751. We're going to need all of that. Uh, stick this back in there, <clears throat> and we're gonna go outside and talk about what we're gonna do today, what we're gonna accomplish. So Draco, he twisted my arm yesterday. He did it. Blame Draco for what's about to happen today, folks. One hundred percent his fault. And I'm not joking. I'm not joking either. You think I'm joking? I'm not joking. It's absolutely Draco's fault. 
what is going to happen. We can take that glass out of there. Don't need that in there anymore. Uh, let's stick some more lead up in there. Up in there. Oh, no. I tell you what. We don't need to put lead. We need to put clay. Need to put clay in there. Let's grab old clay out of here. Put Mr. Sandman in there. And... Oh! What did I do? Put it on my belt. There we go. All right. I made 1,000 in the forge. Yeah, yeah, I have those in my inventory right there, sir. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, this is what we did yesterday, right? Well, it looks like fuel ran. Oh, no, it didn't. Boom, turned on. Look at that. Look at that cool-looking thingy right there, right? Yeah, well, that's going away. <laughs> We're taking that down. Oh, came out here without my land claim block. Might as well go ahead and eat as well. Uh, Cyrus the virus. Yes, I do. Sometimes. Sometimes. Haven't made any in a while. Haven't made any in a while. I have a couple in mind that I want to make, but uh, just haven't sat down and taken the time to do it. Shia LaBeouf would say just do it. So we have 69 spotlights. Uh, I need to put my money back in my mini bike. Not that that's a whole lot of money or anything. Antichron, what up? Let's go grab that water and we need to take this down, this lighting down over here. That must go away. There, there. Well, let's just drive our mini bike on out here. And yeah, we're going to have to jump on it anyway. Yeah, we just leave the gate down. Nothing's going to go up in there, right? Zombies don't want to come up in my base. There's a screamer gal. Losing her mind. Ooh, grand Spartan. So I got to be careful where I place that, because you remember, look at that. You can't stick anything there. It just goes away. Well, that one stayed. Well, that one didn't. Oh! I can't place it there either. Really? Well, we got kind of a little issue there. Uh, let me get on up. Get up, uh, get on up. Get up, uh, get on the scene. Better take the uh, exterior wings down first. Let me build up one more level. I'll catch up with your chat while I do these 10 second removals. Piegos! Uh, this stream is really early. Tanvir! The bartender really did it this time. How you doing, bartender? Broke my... Roll to have a good time. Whoop! Yep, shame on me for listening to you, Draco. Shame on me. Oh, yeah, well, hey, I appreciate you putting the link up there. Uh, Discord, I'm assuming. Do, 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 Yeah, we're going to tear this whole thing down. Tearing it down. Auger. We're going to auger it. You know how much I love augering things. That is what we're going to do with this light structure. I do like it, though. I like this uh, particular style that we came up with. The housing for the lighting. Oh, there's a wandering horde coming. Wandering horde. We'll have enough time to remove the last bit of lighting. I do not think so. Well, I think I'm attached up here. You know what I mean? Don't you get close to my bike. You mean old nasty zombies, you. Stay away from the bike. Oh, look at them over there dancing. Look at them dancing. They're dancing. You see that? 
While I remove the light, we have a little entertainment, folks. They're dancing. Oh my goodness! Well, we didn't get one light, but hey, it saves me having to auger it down, right? That's kind of cool, I guess. Still have to auger the pole. Oh boy. Yeah, we don't have any commands set up in here. Probably need to. Probably need to set some commands up. I don't know what kind of commands we'd have other than Discord. Off with his head. Alright, let's get up in this generator. Turn her off. Pick her up. Turn her off and pick her up. Ah, oh, there you go. Well, I tell you what, we're gonna leave those two zombies just dancing with each other over there. Shame on me for uh, for taking away their fun time, you know? Oh, I should not have interrupted. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, let's go stick this stuff back up in there. Everybody dance now. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, the light project may never be done. It may never truly be done. It may never truly be done. And that's okay. We'll make it happen eventually. Eventually. All right, well, I have plenty of gas. Still have to fill my jars up with water. We're gonna need more paint. So I gotta get some more water. More agua, H2O. Um. Well, let's go ahead and get rid of these. Have them despawn on us. Yeah, well, you might as well extend that 10 episodes on out, sir, because uh, the project that I have in mind now... You know, I was gonna... I was gonna do it a little differently. And then Draco twisted my arm, and I figured... Either go big or go home. And, uh, I'm not going home. So, uh... We're gonna certainly go big on this thing. This is gonna be a, uh, a huge undertaking. We put all this time into the base, it might as well finish it on off right. Might as well get the last project done the way we really want to do it. Instead of just cutting corners. You know what happens when you cut corners, folks. Don't think I have to tell you. All right, get back and get some more paint going. I tell you what, let's run over to the tree farm real quick. Look at that old thing over there. All right, let's uh, let's run over here and see if there's anything planted. I think we left some things planted in the tree farm, right? In the garden over here? Maybe I didn't. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Nice. Got that golden rod for golden rod tea and your paint. Oh. One day we're going to cut these trees down again. I don't know what day that might be, but one day we'll we'll cut them down. Harvest our wood. So you're watching today's Let's Play episode live, because I'm going to publish this thing as the Let's Play today. Get up in here and drop this off. 3.30! Either that or a really odd looking square. Yeah, I'm sure there's probably a name for that. 
So what do we have? 194. So that's plenty for goldenrod. We don't have to worry about that. Uh, let's take all of our goldenrod we have here. Cotton, chrysanthemum. Ah, oh, we're short though. I might need to take that. Let's go over to our indoor garden. Let's take a look at that. Astro Akira. I don't know why you think I'm your daddy. I didn't do nothing with your mama. Maybe. And pull this out. Yeah, now we're going to have enough golden rod. Now we're going to have enough. I'm going to have to replant it, though. I don't have to replant it. Uh, let's see what we're up to. Oh, yeah, look at that. Let's do, uh, let's do 80. I think it's 80. To fill both sides. Pretty sure it is. Let's get her planted. Get her planted. Now you got that song stuck in my head. Bartender really did it this time. Broke my patrol. Have a, or patrol. Broke my par parole. Have a good time. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's early. It's early, folks. Well, I've been up for a couple hours now. What? Is that 8 o'clock? Yeah, been up for a couple hours. Longer than that, even. And the last one there. Oh, today is Horde Day? No. What? Uh, isn't Horde Day 140? Or am I losing my mind? Did I not math properly? I don't math well. Unless they're changing things up on me. Coming early. Maybe they're coming early. All right, that's that. That's done. All, all that corn in there. You know what? Shoot. Let's get this generator going. Turn it on. There we go. Now we got some light over here. It's all illuminated up in here. So, uh, I didn't take the golden rod out of here, did I? No, no, no. That, that's going to be extra. That's going to be extra. Well, we, we need we need to get them all even stacked, evenly stacked here, so I know what I have. And the water. Let's go to our chem lab, but we're going to need fuel for that chem lab. Put this in there. Paint by 25,000. Yeah, that's the number I'm talking about right there. That'll get us by. Make a little bit of paint. Of course, we're only going to be able to do 6,000 at a time, though. Right? It only stacks to 1,000, so maybe... Maybe, uh, maybe 250. We'll just do it that way. It's 12,000. So, uh, do it like that. How about that? All right, we're going to put the remaining balance up in here. Oh, getting too excited. Boy, you think I'd already had a lot of caffeine yet this morning. I have not. Andy Howard Gaming. Hello, Matt Ski. Good morning. Nick Cooper. All right, all right. Uh, well, I can put my water up in here, up in here, like that. So we can make more paint once this is done. And I need to get some fuel. I was going to say, please tell me I have some fuel, because I just used all that in the generator. Probably need to make some more fuel. Oh, we are. Look at that. Gosh, shoot. I didn't even realize I had gunpowder going up over there. Uh, we need more fuel. We need more fuel, so let's do workbench, log, 1250, give me that 1250, I'll put this in there, duct tape, 
or uh, gunpowder goes in there. We need to make some more uh, exploding crossbow bolts. We're going to use some of this duct tape that we just put in there to make some here in just a short. Oh, that should be plenty of fuel. Stick that half of that up in there. Turn it on. Make that last 4,000 gunpowder. Fuel in there. So we just need nitrate. Once we get nitrate, we'll be able to make uh, at least one more line of uh, gunpowder. You know, another uh, another 12,000. Well, shoot. Uh, more than that. Well, let me put this gas in here. We don't need all this gas. Uh, we're going to need a lot of it, though, for what I'm about to do. Legron. Avils, KYS Avils, Avazil. Welcome. Hope everyone's doing well this morning. Is that a wandering horde? I'll tell you what, let me repair my auger. Well, it's going to be kind of tricky to do this at nighttime. I kind of needed to uh, get it all laid out over here. Do I have any frames? Yes, I do. So we want to go over about. What do you say? One, two, three, four, five, six. And that'll put me, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That'll put me far enough away from the base that I think I'm good now. I think I'm good. Draco's good. But you all know that. You all know that. Alright, so we'll put this here like that. And we can collapse most of this, which is gonna be nice. We need more room over here, folks. If I'm gonna put the lighting where I wanna put it and how I wanna put it, we need more room. That's one of the projects I wanted to knock out today. Put down a little bit more rebar. Probably need to make some more concrete, too. I don't know how much we have. I don't know. We've fallen behind on that. A little bit. Little tiny bits. Manny. I'm a maniac. Maniac. Broke my roll, have a good time. Door is locked, so I kicked it in. Do I need to nip that off? Looks like I need to nip that off. Yeah. Well, I can't get comfortable today. Something's wrong with my seat. I was recording music last night and I had to raise my seat. Now I can't get it adjusted right again for gaming. What's up with that? Oh, I don't want to go too far. Oh yeah, I'm still still good. Yeah, this will be easy once I make this uh, pass down this way. I come back uh, the opposite direction along the concrete and then I collapse it all. Just take a minute to get this done. Will only take a moment. Oh, did I stop? I stopped in just the right amount of time. Notice that. All right. Let's take it back the other way. Bam, 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 bam. Bum, 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 bum. Killing in the name of. That's the name of that song. Someone asked me that a while back. Hey, what's that Rage Against the Machine song? I'm talking about all the time. You're humming. That's what it is. Alright, so make this one pass back this way and we can get 
get down to business. We're taking care of this. Rebar. Oh, yeah, you gotta have reflections turned on to make that work, though. Uh, medicine cabinet looks kind of ugly if you don't have the uh, reflections turned on. It does not look good at all. Well, it doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look good like, like it does when you have the reflections turned on. Look at that, we're almost back to the end already. We made that fast. It's because I have a guide on my right hand side here to kind of guide me on down. All right, now I can crouch and do this number. Like Logan would say, number. There's no R in there. Well, I don't like the elevation difference here. You know, there's a huge difference in elevation between this side of the base and the other. Notice that we are level all the way across with the concrete. But look at how high this is compared to over there. Now, from with the naked eye from a distance, it all looks level. Doesn't look like that much of a difference in elevation. It's a huge difference. It's like a four block difference from one side to the other of the base. I mean, I guess that's what we get for building a base so stinking big, but still. Doesn't look like there's that much of a difference. I wonder if we can just do it this way. And we'll come back and clean it up in a moment. Yeah, look at that. We can go all the way across. We can go all the way across. Just collapse, collapse, collapse. That's easier. We'll come back and clean up the little, uh, little nipples. Whatever you want to call them. <laughs> we'll clean those up in a minute. That's yeah, much faster. Much faster way of doing it. I need to repair my auger here in a minute. My finger's getting tired. Finger's getting tired. I'm clickety clicking. Bo 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 bo. This works so much better this way. It works so much better when you're just clickety-clicking instead of holding down on the button. All right, I'm going to take a sip of my tasty beverage here for just a moment. Catch up with your chat. Ah, boy, that's good. That morning coffee. So this will be like episode, I don't know. I don't know what yesterday's episode was, 145. So this is episode like 146 or something like that. Is that right? Let's play. Something like that. Something like that. So I'll publish it once it's processed today. That'll be your let's play for the day. And then we'll, uh, oh, it's first boo-boo I've made right there. First boo-boo. That's okay. We'll fill it in with rebar. Fill it in with rebar. Uh, and then we'll get back to our stream series this evening around 6, 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, take care. Have a good sleep, assassin. Stopping by, sir. Wish I could do that. Hard to go back to sleep after you've uh, after you wake up for the old Grand Spartan. You don't get very many naps in. Oh, we're done. Look at that. All the way to the end. You can just clean up these little things, these little uh, little boobies, whatever they are, whatever you want to call them. I guess they're just technically piles of dirt. Look kind of funny. There 
get this thing here refueled. And I need to uh, do something here. And we're back. Ah! Screamer! I heard a screamer. Or I heard a heard an auto turret killing a screamer. Hopefully she didn't see me. Done! We are done, folks. We go grab some rebar and hopefully concrete mix. I don't know. I don't know how much we have. Hopefully, uh, hopefully about 10k at least. Yeah, I think we have enough concrete mix. Need to make more though. Keep putting that off. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's just take that. And a rebar. We'll take this rebar. I'm gonna throw out all this dirt. I don't think I need that dirt for anything. Thousand? Think a thousand will do it? We're gonna take fifteen hundred just to be sure. Hello, darkness, my old friend. What's up, man? Let's get this thing going over here. Yeah, nothing like it. The laying of the blocks. Sounds like a ceremony or something. The laying of the blocks. The laying of the rebar. Yeah, this won't take long. What is it, about six wide, something like that? As long as I don't goof up too many times. Gotta get in that rhythm. Won't be able to read your chat for a moment because I need to keep this uh, rhythm going so I don't do that. Yeah, I have to go to the dentist today. Gotta get a little dental work done. So I'm gonna be uh, recovering from the Novocaine on tonight's stream. Probably be talking a little funny. <laughs> Not that I don't already talk funny, but you know what I mean. Uh, talking with a fat lip or what feels to be a fat lip well once the zombies fall down off the dirt they aren't getting back up that's for sure it's okay though if they beat up that way they're not going to they won't ever turn around and beat the other way shouldn't because I'm going to be on this side of the dirt I am joiner Good morning. Guess it's how you'd say that. Yeah, glad I was able to go live this morning, though, because uh, this week <clears throat> had a uh, had a sick mini Spartan. You ah! are now. Kevin Rayson, thank you for subscribing and welcome to the stream. And so I was not able to stream. I wanted to stream Wednesday and Thursday uh, on the stream series and get some work done on that base. Uh, we'll pick that back up this evening, though. We'll try to get some more progress done. I don't know how long we'll go. Hopefully as long as I possibly can get as much as we can get done. Might even stream tomorrow. I don't know what plans are around here tomorrow, but uh, you ah, are now Max, a two thousand from the valley, from the valley. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome. Uh, we'll definitely pick back up on Sunday again and get as much done to that stream series base as we can get done. Because uh, a couple things I need to do to fix something on there. Uh, I need to dig more out on that free fall. Those four free fall pits that we have. And protect those front walls. Figure that out. 
I think last week, last week's stream, we figured that out. Well, this is the last bit of uh, rebar on the ground, I think. I'll need to do, I'll have to take a look at the backside. Uh, kind of like, uh, I won't even say that, but yeah, we'll, we'll need to take a look at the backside and see what it looks like back there if it, if it needs to be extended. I don't think it does. I think we went far enough out because we had that little generator subscriber. room. My goodness, hey, Bob, legacy of Bob. Thank you for subscribing and welcome. Welcome. Oh, you beautiful people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Glimpse must be still in bed. Asleep. I saw a trip on this morning at about six o'clock or so. A new oh! subscriber. Zalari. Welcome. Thank you. I jumped on Path of Exile about, I don't know, six o'clock, 6.30, somewhere in that range. Just for a few minutes, run a couple maps, and I saw a trip was online. Limps must still be uh, talking to Mr. Sandman. Yes, bring me a dream. Well, we're almost to the end now. We're more than halfway. More than halfway. See there? Not much more to go. We are done. Upgrade this sucker. And get to laying out what I believe to be our final lighting system for the base. Oh, man, it's a good thing I brought 1,500. 500 might get us to the end. We'll see. My only friend, the end. Yeah, for the cheap, cheap. That's right. For the cheap, cheap. Yeah, it might be, you know, someone I know might be one of those people. Drills on your teeth. Do 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 do. Ah. So anyone keep up with that uh that March Madness crazy basketball thing? College. I don't watch any college basketball. I watch a little bit of NBA. From time to time, been known to watch a little bit of that, but no, uh, no college for me. Saw there were some upsets yesterday in the news article. Yeah, we're gonna take over the world, Andy Howie. We're gonna take over the world. We get about another seventy-eight thousand Spartans, and we'll take over the world. Make the world our own. I hear a zombie. Oh, it's another wandering horde. Let's see if we can gather them up. Come on. Come on. Get in a big old circle. I don't want to waste any more crossbow bolts than I have to. Come on. Where's she going? Hey. Back here. Get in line, fools. Get in line. Check yourself. Come on. Oh, they're dispersing. Why are they dispersing? Hello? Come on. Oh, she had a blood bag. That's one less time I have to prick myself. Get down, boy. Another nurse, Nancy. No blood bag there. No blood bag there. Oh. If you don't get them in the head, they do not die so well. All right.
Oh, she better not be beating on my stuff. I ain't got time for that, woman. All right. Back to what we were doing. I heard the little... I uh, heard it coming. Had my uh, zombie senses up on point this morning. You know what I mean? I'll catch up with you, chat, as soon as we reach the end here. We're almost there, folks. Almost there. Ah, ha, ha. look at that. We're there. Yeah. All right. So. Let me see what you're saying. I'm going to take a sip of my tasty beverage. Encourage you to do the same. Let me get my weapon out just in case I get jumped. And. My stance on mods is that I just don't do them. I kind of mod my own game a little bit. And that's it. All right, let's get to upgrading this real quick. Get on down to the other end. Let's see if I can weave and bob all the way down to the other end. We have a couple bobs up in here this morning too, don't we? I wonder if we have any weaves in here. Ah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna try to get this thing upgraded and lay out the foundation to our lighting system. It's gonna wrap around the base. It's gonna wrap around it. We started on it yesterday. I realized though that we started on it. I just didn't have enough separation between the base and where I wanted to put the lighting. We need to get a little bit more separation there. This side is a bit too close. I'm going to run around the base, though. I'm going to take a nice circle around the base and make sure we have good separation all the way around. It does need to be even. We don't have to have it even, but uh, but I would like to have, you know, six, eight blocks away from the base so the light's not right up on the base. It's kind of foggy out here. You notice that? Oh, it's raining. TV land. Yeah, TV land. Like, uh... No whammies, no whammies. Someone linked that up the other day. What's the name of that show again? Um... Pressure Luck. Pressure Luck. Come on, no whammies, no whammies. game is getting hungry. Tummy starting to growl. It's kind of making me hungry. You know, I didn't have much of a breakfast. Had a yogurt, a protein shake, and I have some kind of little fruit squeeze here. I don't know what that is. Looked like it would be quick and easy to eat on stream without making a whole bunch of crunching noise, though. <laughs> Just in case. Just in case. Never know about those things. Joker is wild. I'm trying to read your chat. Ross Jukes. What up? I'm getting a little concrete work done here today. That's all. That is all. 
You know, I'm still sold on the medicine cabinet for the pillars. I know you all don't like it. Most of you don't. But I like the medicine cabinet. I did that on the stream series, and it really made it pop. But it all kind of depends on what color we make the bottom. And I think I'm going to make the bottom blue. So I don't know. I think we decided to go with the black granite. Decided to go with the black granite. Kind of a flat color. A little bit of texture to it. I guess we stick to that. Alstrom, good morning. Welcome. Yeah, it's a little early. Well, it's 8.30 now. I mean, heck, we're it's almost lunchtime. 8.30. A couple more hours. I was always one of those to eat lunch around 10, 30, or 11 o'clock, though. Never wait till noon or 1. I don't know how some people wait that long. About 10, 30 rolls around, I am ready to eat. Big lunch. Well, you know, it does look like it's falling apart when it takes a, a touch of damage. That's kind of weird, but it looks good. You know, it looks good when it's not damaged. Looks really good. I was noticing that when I was doing the base preview for the Code Red and how good it looked. Look at that, folks. Look at that beautiful concrete work. Mm-hmm. That's right. All right, we can pick that up. And now, let's take a run around the base. Make sure we have enough separation. Kegos. Rafael Janko says he's... Bit early and I'm about to have lunch. Oh yeah, right here. Look at that. We're gonna need to do that one more time. You know what I mean? One more time, because that's not far enough away from there. What does it look like over here? Looks like over here is good. Uh I don't know though. I don't know. Kinda close. Amir! What's up? And this side is good. And we have enough space on this side. I think we'll be good. Of course, I don't know if we light up this side or not. You light up my life. You give me strength to carry on. I know too many songs, folks. I know way too many songs. Too many songs rattling around in this brain o' oh mine. Well, I guess since I got you all here, and we're not on the Let's Play today, we're uh, not the recording Let's Play at least, we're streaming it. Might as well give myself a little bit more separation gotta keep it separated there we go with the songs again oh i'm sorry folks i can't help myself i love you and nobody else ba, 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 ba. <laughs> too many years in the music industry folks too many years oh, wait a minute am i right here am i at the right elevation for uh, where i need to be yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're going to make quick work of this, though. Quick work. Quick work. I knew we needed a lot more rebar for something. Glad I made some extra. Oh, this might not be bad as we're going this way. Remember, it gets, uh... It gets so that... Where does it start? Oh, right there. Right there. That's as far as we have to go, as far as digging goes. You know what I mean? Look at that. We can just place it down in the dirt. So all I have to do is dig to right there. And then the rest of that we can place uh, like we want to uh, without without having to dig. I dig it, man. Ooh, well, that's not good. Maybe we can get a little closer. 
Just a little bit longer Please won't you say Please say that you will Say you will Let's go ahead and seal that off Seal it with a kiss, Draco You know I haven't seen in a while Christine! Where's Christine been? Where'd she disappear to? Oh, gal I might have offended her with the uh Draco Draco Christine calm everyone go Yeah She might have not liked that song I don't know Shame on her for not liking that song It's a good song I'm, I'm going to catch up with your chat in just a moment. And I'm going to take a sip of my tasty beverage as well. Let me finish digging this out. If you dig it, I dig it. Oh, this is nice. It was just one layer here. I think it gets to dual layer at some point. But uh, this, is, this is easy work right here. We'll be done with this in no time. Got to keep my head on a swivel, though. You know, Minikin's probably lurking somewhere. Eyeball and that fuzzy red button Ready to uh, ready to jump on it Ready to get those dogs bears and Wolves in action coming after the old grand Spartan. I'm ready. I'm prepared today Got my coffee Ready to go Tell you what, my finger's gonna be tired after this morning. I'm just a clickety click in here. Just a clickety clicking. Ugh. <laughs> and give the finger a break every once in a while. All right, here's where we need to start collapsing a little bit. Let's see that now. We don't have much to do. We're at the end. My only friend, the end. Yeah, yeah look at that. Boom, done. So now, I need to run back up in the base and grab some more rebar. Uh, we can use up what we have. We might be able to finish this out, though, with what we have in our inventory. Whoops. All right, before I do that, look at that complex over there. My goodness. Let's see here. Eight thirty p.m. Man. Well, it's 8.42 a.m. where I'm at. I'm just catching up with your chat and taking a sip of my tasty beverage as we sit here and look at the base. Amir, uh... I just like water, man. That's all I drink, water. But here lately, for the past month or so, I've been on this seltzer water kick. Flavored seltzer water. I like the uh, lime. It's kind of like Sprite with no sugar. Good stuff. I don't like sodas. I don't like the uh, uh, sugar. I don't need a whole lot of sugar. I stay away from that stuff. Stuff is bad for you. Now I just don't have a taste for it. I just don't have a taste for it. Matter of fact, I was just... I got some message the other day from Amazon. They had uh, Hershey bars on sale for like $10 for 18 of them. Hershey bar, Reese's, Kit Kat. It's 
So I bought a, uh, a pack of them and sent them to a buddy of mine. <laughs> I know he likes sweets. A uh, gamer buddy of mine. And, uh... It let him get the old diabetes. But I don't, uh, I don't do a whole lot of soda or sugar or anything like that. Every once in a while I go to a restaurant, I'll drink a, uh, a Sprite. Because <clears throat> I don't, uh... I don't trust the, I don't trust the tea and the the water is just tap water, you know. That's all that is. And uh, who knows where they're getting that stuff. They might be going to the bathroom and filling that cup up. So I just get a Sprite and at least it comes out of a machine. <laughs> but uh, it's rare occasion. Seltzer water, lime seltzer water. It's called bubbly. I think is the name of it, bubbly. It's good stuff. Never had it before until about about a month and a half ago. First time I'd ever had seltzer water. Flavored seltzer water, that is. Good stuff. You know, this won't take long here. I was thinking it's going to take a lot longer than what it was going to take, but... This little tiny bit of concrete's nothing compared to uh, all of that that we did out there. This is a uh, child's play right here. With the tears of my moderators. Flavored, yes. Yes, indeed, Draco. Yes, indeed. Uh, so, I don't remember the names of them, Draco, but you linked up a couple games. The... Uh, what were those two games again? You, you sent a message to me. I got that uh, the last night or this morning. I read that message. Now we can talk about that for a minute. I can explain uh, my position on those games. This is nice. I wish it were like this all the way around. You know what I mean? Like, the terrain. All right, I gotta get in there and get something to drink and to eat. Let's just finish this out, and then I'll go on in there and get something to drink, something to eat. We'll finish this on out to where we have the rebar laid down. I can go grab some more rebar and some more concrete. I don't know if we need more concrete or not, though. Yeah, I guess we do. And I'll catch up with your uh, chat as well. The Love Books. What's up? Jethro Vegas. Uh-huh. Almost to the end here. Well, this is almost hypnotizing. You know what I mean? I can sit there and just do this for hours. Hypnotized by the sound. The visuals. And there we are. So we've reached the end for this segment. Right there. And we'll finish that on out. That's not much there. Not compared to what we just did. Let me go get my man, little man in the game. Something to eat and drink. Look at all that damaged concrete. I just hold down on the uh, button while I run back. Whoa, there's a screamer. I don't see her, but I hear her. Oh, there she comes. There she comes, just a walking down the street, singing do a diddy diddy dum diddy do. Oh, she got shot. Let me run in here and get my little man in the game something to eat and drink. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, RimWorld. Yeah. Uh, well, PoE is not that complex, though. Uh, PoE is kind of a brainless game. I mean, it takes a little bit of thought, but... Um... um I've seen RimWorld. 
And I've looked at it, and I've had my finger on the button to buy it a few times, but every time, I swear, if it looked a little better, and I know it's not about the way a game looks, it's about the gameplay, but there's just something about that game that kind of deters me from it. I don't, I can't put my finger on it. Uh, I don't know exactly why I don't want to buy it. Uh, it looks good and all, uh, but it's just not my kind of game. Um, as far as, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe if I played it, I'd like it. It's certainly one of those time sink games, I could tell you that. Uh, but I just can't get five, you know, I just can't, uh, make myself buy it. Divine Life. What's up? Not sure about 17. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. I just don't know when. Uh... Now, nah, Jethro, Vegas is not an odd time at all. We do this uh, regularly. At least once a week, we try to stream uh, in the morning. Uh, sometimes twice a week. Might as well eat one more meat stew. But before I do that, let me prick myself. And the finger. And eat another meat stew. All right. And get my building blocks out here. A little bit more rebar and a little bit more concrete. How much do we have left? Not a whole lot. Uh, what do we have in the forge here? Enough to make a few more stacks. Well, let's do that. We need one sand. We need two stone. Click on that, click on this, click on that. Then, uh, well, 3,300. We'll just stick that in there. We'll come back to it later. Oh, well, you know, we have a full stack right there. Let's just go ahead and make that. Let's go ahead and make that. I'm going to need it. Maybe not now, because we're almost done with this rebar concrete work today. But at some point, I'm going to certainly need it. Put my sand and stone back in here. Oh, we need to take the paint out. Almost forgot. Almost forgot to do that. And there's no need to even have that going because we can't can't hold that much in there. All right, so uh, rebar back on the belt again. Concrete, check. Food, check. Um, yeah, welcome back, Andy. I, let's see, how's that auto turret doing for ammo? Oh, we checked it a few episodes ago on the Let's Play, man. And it's, uh, it's good still. It's still really good. I kind of surprised at how well... How efficient that thing is. There's Logan. Good morning. Good morning, sir. I need to break in just a moment. Take another sip of my tasty beverage. Yeah, Surviving Mars. There's one. There's one that uh, Draco had mentioned. Um, I mean, I didn't know it, Draco. I didn't know Path of Exile. But as a matter of fact, when I started my first character, the Marauder, I made my own build. I just made it up. Leveled all the way to 70. Only died a couple times. Really, a couple times from being AFK in the middle of a dungeon. But... Uh, it's, it, you know, you just kind of look through it and pick what you want, but when you get serious about it and you want to take some in-game stuff on, then you need to look up a build, and it's just as easy as going to the forum, the Path of Exile forum, and copying someone's build, uh, and you need to do that. You, you know, you can't really go your own way on that game if you don't know anything about it. It's not like, uh, it's not like some of these other games where you can just make something up and it'll work. 
Um, when you get to the end game, if you want to get serious about it, and you don't want to die 10,000 times, then you need to follow some type of a pattern or guide. And, uh, and they're out there. There are thousands of them that you can follow and uh, that people have played for 5,000 hours and created a guide as to how they did it and why they did what they did. Uh, there's no shame in that, following a guide. I absolutely did it myself for trying different builds to see what I enjoyed most. Still gotta, you still got to learn how to use the build, you know. Uh, but uh, So, uh, let's see. Let me catch back up with chat because were, you were mentioning games. Uh, Rim World. Yeah, RimWorld was the only thing you had mentioned, but then uh, Surviving Mars. It's a $40 game, you know, and it, if I knew, I'm going to have to watch some videos or something on it. I haven't even really watched the trailer, I, just a moment of it, but uh, I love city building games. I mean, Sim City. I have uh, City Skylines and all the expansions to that. I love a city building game. But the Surviving Mars, I just don't know anything about it. I hate to spring, you know, the 40 bucks for a game that I put two hours into and then never play it again. So I really got to do some research on that before I pull the trigger. But yeah, any kind of any kind of city building game, I, I could enjoy that. I could, I could dig it. Uh, yeah, I try to focus mostly, if I'm going to play new games like that, on something that I could possibly stream or document on the channel. If I'm going to be putting time into it. Um, but... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I play Path of Exile, and I don't document that, I guess, but. Koala Man, hello? Heldens! All right. Well, let me take this cactus out. I'm going to beat it to death with my club. Uh, gave me some plant fiber. A little bit of yucca. Yucca. All right. Let's get back to laying this stuff out. Oh! Let's see what you said there. Just 1080 Ti drop frames. Uh, not on most games, not on most games, but on this game, depending upon, um, you know, how many zombies you have. If you modify your XML file so you have tons and tons of zombies and the game's not meant to handle that many, uh, you might drop some frames. Uh, otherwise, it's beautiful. You know, I've had a 1080 Ti for some time now since it came out and, uh, it's performed, you know, beautifully. But uh, I get a little crazy with my settings. And I like to have everything turned on. As you can see here, uh, shadow distance I keep near. Tree quality, middle, grass near. And the motion blur, some people say it makes them sick. But like reflected shadows, reflection quality high, UMA texture high, full size, 1080. Uh, you know, I have all that on. Uh, level of de uh, detail, all that stuff's turned up. Yeah, I don't lose any frames. It's only when the horde attacks and I have 120-something zombies on the screen at one time. Shotgun turrets going off. You know, all the craziness. Exploding crossbow bolts. Then I might lose some frames. But Logan's long care, I need you now. This grass is so annoying to place rebar. See, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's worth the money. But the uh, problem is the 1080 Ti that I purchased... It's $1,500 right now because of all the Bitcoin miners. We're blaming TCG for that. That's who we're blaming. Uh, so I would wait for those things to come back down to the eight, eight fifty, nine hundred dollar $900 range before I bought one uh, instead of paying that, uh, that hiked up price of $1,500. It's not worth that. It's not worth that price. They're good, but they're not $1,500 good. <laughs> You can almost buy a whole computer for fifteen hundred dollars, you know, with a graphics card already in it. Yeah, that, that price hike. Cause I got Mini Spark in a ten eighty for Christmas, right? Five hundred fifty dollars came with a couple sixty dollar games like uh, Assassin's Creed and something else. 
uh, or uh, Destiny. And uh, that graphics card is almost $1,000 now. It's twice the price. It's not worth that. Good thing I bought it when I did. You know, I bought it a couple months before Christmas because I was just piecing it all together one piece at a time. Um... Uh, because, man, all of a sudden, the prices just went through the roof on graphics cards. Too expensive. Much too expensive. Hopefully, mine doesn't go out on me anytime soon because I can't afford another one right now. I have a 1070 in the uh, stream rig, capture rig, and a 1080 Ti up in this one. Now you're almost done. Look at that. Ah, oh, there's another wasted rebar because of the grass. I'm going to catch up with your chat here again in a moment, too. It's just this grass is kind of frustrating. Uh, take a sip of my tasty beverage. Yeah, well, that's the trick, Alstrom. Uh, Tom Brookins, welcome, uh, is getting friends together. To play a game like that, uh, Sea of Thieves, you know, and all getting on the same page at the same time. And um, yeah, that's right. It's not the 1080, it's, it's the game. It's just the game, it's just not an optimized game. Legron, you're probably right, man. Should have invested in, uh, in graphics cards. Man, you could be selling those things on eBay right now for fifteen hundred dollars a piece. People be buying them up. Yeah, I. You just kind of have to wait. A friend of mine has been trying to. He's wanting to build a computer for a long time, and well, he was looking at the ten seventy Ti and the ten eighties, and he simply cannot build it right now because he can't afford a graphics card. It doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense to spend that much on a graphics card, so he's kind of waiting. I don't blame him there. I... You know what we might have to do right here? We might have to... We might have to put ramps over here. You know how the zombies like to run up to the edge of something? They can run up there. But when they get down here, I can't run up that. I have to jump. Maybe they jump, but if they don't, they're going to get stuck out here on Horde Night. That's going to stink. Might have put ramps on this end. That'll look kind of weird, too, you know, having ramps on this end and no other no other area. Might have to do it all around. I don't know. I'll check this side over here because we haven't had any issues with that yet. We'll see. Well, I wish you could one-click repair that stuff. Ugh. Like, if you haven't been in combat or something for, I don't know, five minutes, you can just one-click repair blocks. As long as you're in combat, it takes multiple clicks, but if you haven't been in combat, if you're not combat blocked or something, you can just one-click repair a block. That's that's annoying. Oh, my goodness, 330! With the 330! Ah, oh, Stuck on your job. I see. I see how it is, man. I've been trying to get him out now for a couple months. He's putting me off. Must be a must be a pretty massive job. Must be paying well. Well, thank you, sir, for your kind contribution. For letting me know that. I was wondering where he's at. Another wandering horde? Man, that's three already. That's three already today. I'm going to be wasting my shotgun shells. Son of a gun. Hello, shotgun, my old friend. Yeah, you lose some frames when those things are going off. You really do. The splatter, the particle, and the sound. Something to do with the sound on this game causes a little bit of lag. I don't know what that is, but... We noticed that with the solar bank not too long ago and uh, using that. 
Well, once again, folks, we are done with another side. Uh, I say we have one more to go, and we are completely done with the concrete work for today. We can move on to bigger and better things. So it does look like they were slightly hung up on this, but then they hopped up and they came on over. Because the horde has come from this direction before, but I've never noticed them getting hung up on this. So maybe we just leave it like that. Maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. Any of them making it through the... Oh, yeah, some of them did make it through. A couple of them. Let's see how far I have to go down. Do I have to dig at all? Might not have to dig at all. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to dig right... There is where it stops. You know what I mean? Maybe something like that. That should give me enough room. Oh, it looks like there's a little bit right through here is even good. Oh, that's kind of frustrating. You know, certain parts of it. Certain parts of it I have to dig out and certain parts I don't. Yeah. We'll kind of figure that out as we go. Let's just fill in what we can fill in here. We'll dig the rest out. I'm not going to go all six out on this one like I did the other ones. We'll just do five. And I'm going to catch up with your chat since we finished that. Road of Self Winding. Rabbit. Rabbit. You have watched a lot of videos if you have watched all my videos, my friend. <laughs> but thank you. Uh... Yeah, it looks like I'm all caught up with your chat. I'm all caught up with your chat and stuff. So, uh, back to what we were doing. I gotta figure out exactly where I need to dig. Ugh, that's weird. Terrain, the terrain's all weird through here. Some places you need to dig, some places I don't need to dig in the same spot right next to it. Look at that. Oh, that's kind of weird. Looks like all the rest of this needs to be dug out. Down here does not. Ah, the problem with it is, though, is uh, I got to do it one block at a time because of the silly grass. Because Logan's lawn care service never came out here. I'm going to have to find a new lawn care service. Take care of my lawn care needs. Need a lawnmower. That's what I need. I don't need a Jeep or a motorcycle. I need a John Deere. That's what I need. Maybe a little front end loader action with a... With a bush hog on the back, you know? Drive around and scoop dirt and cut grass, and that's what I need on this game. Give me an excavator or a backhoe, front end loader, something. Give me a John Deere. I'd just be happy. I, I could, you know, I could just live with the mini bike. Scrap the Jeep, scrap the motorcycle, work on a John Deere, front end loader. And a, uh, with the bucket on the front and the bush hog on the back. I can cut grass and dig with it. Man. Be living the dream. That's all a man needs right there. Much as I like to build, you know, I need a tractor. Don't need no stinking Jeep. Yeah, you're right, uh, Ghost. I didn't even think about that, but you probably could. Now, you can mod in. I could make this machete a weed whacker. You know? I can make the speed so it's like boop, 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 boop. It's just uh, change the speed of it so it's really fast and only do one block damage. So it takes out the grass but does not destroy the block. Um... And you could even extend the range of it. You could make yourself one, but I want something I could ride. You know, I want a John Deere. Or a, a Tom Deere, or whatever you want to call it. A little generic name. Bob Deere. Call it Bob Deere. Bobcat, Bob Deere. Give me one of those. I'll take one of those, please.
Ah! Silly grass. And then I could... You know, I could make some really nice builds fast. Digging dirt like that. Andre Luis. Welcome. From Brazil. Trenton France. A new subscriber. Tracy Coward. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, uh, Andy. It may be time to uh, give that thing a rinse or two in the water. If it's making you itch. This is Sparta! I am itchy! Might need to take a bath yourself, my friend. Might not be the loincloth, you know what I mean? Uh, is Glimpse here? I haven't seen Glimpse say anything. Yeah, I haven't seen, uh, I haven't seen Glimpse say anything. If I missed you, Wraith, what's up? A John Doe. Yeah, maybe, maybe. John Doe. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, actually. Maybe, uh, maybe I need to come up with my own mod for a John Doe front end loader with a back or the uh, a bush hog on the back. Maybe that's maybe that's what I need to work on. You know, I was gonna work on some Spartan armor or something, a sword, but maybe I need to work on a tractor. All the building I do, all the digging I have to do. I quite enjoyed that on. What's that game? Um, Imperion. Being able to make those mining machines. That's kind of cool. To do my digging for me. Be kind of nifty if you can make something like that on here. Do your digging for you. Of course, they weren't very efficient as far as... Or they weren't very precise, I guess is the word. And to make something a little more precise. With the old John Doe, I could just dig down two blocks if I wanted to dig down two blocks. You know, I'm going to set it up. And there we are. We're done with that. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, I don't speak Portuguese, but uh, welcome. Good to have you. Obrigado. Took Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for a few years or practiced it. Under uh, Higa Machado. Might know that name. Well, I don't know. Probably not. Well, I don't know why I want to use a nuke. It looks like the world's already been nuked one time. Well, I don't think I want to go in any more radiated zones. I mean, we already have enough feral radiated zombies. We don't need to make more. Looks like it just made them more powerful. Trying to read your chat and zigzag while I'm doing this. Yeah, I'm thinking I might have to ramp it. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we get another Wonder and Horde since we've already had three today. Maybe we have, uh... Maybe we have another one come from this side and we test them out and see if they can jump up. You know, because zombies can jump a little bit, but uh, yeah, maybe to just to be safe, I might have to ramp it or they get stuck over here on Horde Night. Well, that would be a fail. Cosmic Chach, we are on PC, if that's what you're asking. Oh, the platform, what is this for? Uh, this is so we can paint the ground. And so we can paint the ground up underneath the base, make it all futuristic looking, you know what I mean? A nice solid platform. Uh, if you're new to the stream of the channel, I like to run around and fight the zombies outside on Horde Night. All 100 and something of them. And uh, you can't really do that on the dirt. You get too many duds with your exploding crossbow bolt. 
Uh, you need concrete. And it's easier to kind of keep track of them and see them and get away from them and all of that. And clean up afterwards, too. So uh, we like to concrete our area that we fight upon. So it's not necessarily a platform as much as it is a, uh, a floor or a, uh, well, I guess it's a platform. <laughs> All right, so the rest of this, I have to dig out, which is going to be easy. You know, we're more than, look at that, we're more than halfway done with it. Uh, can I put rebar down in there? Will it not go in there? What's up with that? Tiny little bit of digging. Let me go ahead and repair my auger so we get a one-click done on this uh, dirt knock this thing out quickly have two days until the horde so I uh, gotta get some work done here quickly gotta get this lighting thing figured out I was talking about uh, your suggestions for lighting and how I may be able to do it and Draco came up with an idea yesterday something I originally thought of but I said that's nah, gonna take too much work it's gonna take too long to do it. What else do we have to do? You know? What else do we have to do? We're almost done with this thing. And we're gonna do it. We might as well do it right. Go big or go home. And I'm not going home, so we'll just do it the right way. That's gonna take a lot of lights though, folks. I'm not gonna lie to you. We're gonna be uh <laughs> I gotta figure out how to do the electrical uh, first off to power that many lights. But we did it in the base. And it's only 5 watts per light, so let's just say 500 and we can have about 50 lights. We can have about 50 lights on every... Well, no, that's not right. We can have about 100 lights on every generator, right? Am I right? Five watts of light, isn't that right? All right, done. Nice. Ah. Uh, See what all you're saying here. I hear a zombie. I was looking for another wandering horde to come about, but uh, I don't see it. Samir! What's up, Samir? Boy, I'd have to, I'd have to Google Translate that. I cannot read Portuguese, my friend. Appreciate you being here, the support and all, but don't speak it, can't read it. Not multilingual like I should be. Should have paid more attention in school, folks. I have a friend, good friend of mine, games with me. He's actually one of the first guys I uh, game on seven days to die with. Now, he speaks, his family is from Greece. Uh, he was born here in the U.S. His wife is from Lithuania. And so their child speaks English, Greek, and Lithuanian, or Russian. I think their child's about six or seven now. Speaks three languages, three or four languages. <laughs> All right, done. Woo! All right, we're done with all the concrete work. Except for maybe we could add a little bit right there. I'm not going to do that, though. 
I don't know if we go all the way around the base or just on a few sides of it or what. I don't know. I actually wonder how far these spotlights are going to shine. You know, how far the light carries. Surely it'll carry six or eight blocks away. Does anyone know that? Does anyone know the, the distance that the light travels from a spotlight? Silent Sparrow, good morning. Almost done with this. Yeah, if we weren't going with this particular style of lighting, I wouldn't have had to uh, extend the concrete out around the edges, but are you kidding me? I am out of concrete, folks. Out of it. Well, let's uh, run in and grab some, finish it off here. Ten blocks and then it fades. Okay. Yeah, the trailer parks are. Yeah, trailer parks are good for... Uh... Might as well get more paint going while we're here. I don't see why we don't... But 5k. And let's get this going again here. Check fuel in there. Oh, look at that. Look at our insulators. We're going to do our uh, we're going to do our do it yourself thing and make our electrical components. That's what we're going to do. And bulletproof glass. We're going to need a lot of that, folks. We're going to need a lot of that. How much could we make? 248 of those. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. And we're almost out of glass in there, so i got to get back to that, too. Let's take a couple stacks of that. Okay. Uh, traders are not open at nighttime. They close at 2200. So we'll have to go there during the daytime. I can't eat, but I absolutely can drink. Let's do that. Tansuka! Florin! I don't know what you lost. Uh, maybe your keys? Did you lose your keys? But you didn't miss anything, if that's what you mean. You didn't miss a thing. Except for me doing a little bit of concrete work. Very necessary part of what we're doing here. That's why I streamed the Let's Play today. Because we it was going to take me time. I almost recorded this. How deep are we right now in time? We've been streaming for an hour and 36 minutes. So that's like two episodes right there just to do what we did today. Oh, there's a zombie. He has no legs. Hey, Mr. Businessman. Oh, I didn't mean to take off your head. That's kind of yucky. All right, let's finish this out. Yeah. Um, yeah, make it the playground bigger, but it's for a reason, because we're about to add a crazy, crazy amount of lighting to this thing. And so in order to do that, I had to have more space around the edges. Boom. Look at that, folks. Look at that. It's done. 
done. I hear another zombie. Oh, there's a zombie. That's one of those biker guys. Get down, boy. Whoa. He teleported on me. Well, that's why we came up for the interior portion. You know what I was originally going to do in here? I was going to make a little a little flowered in area with some, some goldenrod and chrysanthemum, maybe some cotton, give it some color, and plant trees. Plant like a tree here, a tree over there. Man, I was going to get all girly on you. I'm glad we decided to do the lights instead. Interior portion needed some lights. Because the exterior lights are not going to light up the interior portion. I hear another zombie. All wondering about over here. Well, let's go inside here and... Grab some more things. Well, we're going to need a lot more concrete. I might have to get another forge set up in here. A temporary forge somewhere. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't think one's going to be enough to smelt down the stone that we need to smelt down. And I hate to just stick one out on the floor, but... I think that's what we're going to have to do. Uh, if you all aren't opposed to it, I'm not opposed to it. Just for the time being. You know what I mean? Just for the time being. Uh, let's get some fuel out of the workbench over here. Get that put away. And we'll set ourselves up for a... Uh... Oh my goodness, that was loud. That scared me. Scared me. It's just temporary, folks. I'll move it. I'll take them down eventually. I think right now we need to keep these things uh, going at all times to make enough concrete to keep me in business. All right, let me uh, let me pause just a moment. Yeah, you're right, Draco. You're right, my friend. The hippie zombies. They'll get you. They'll get you. So, let me grab... We're going to need more of these. Free bar frame pillars. Five minutes on those. Rebar pillars. 100 pillars. Let's make... Uh, let's make 100. Look at all those insulators. <laughs> That's a lot of insulators, folks. Uh, what did I need to make that again? The insulators, the uh, electrical parts, forged iron and duct tape. So we made a bunch of duct tape. And we should have a bunch of forged iron, yeah. Let's go to this workbench. Let's take this stuff out. Electrical parts. We make 500 only because we're limited to the uh, the duct tape and the forged iron that I have in my inventory. Uh, that's 500. That's not very efficient, folks. That's not very efficient at all. I say we're better off going to the trailer parks. We need engines anyway, so go scrap cars. But, I mean, you know, I'm using up all my duct tape that I need for exploding crossbow bolts for other things. <sighs> that's just... That do-it-yourself is cool and all... I don't think it's for me. You know, I looked at that and I thought about it. I said, well, we'll give it a try. But I swear, that's not uh, that's not very efficient way of doing things. That's kind of a waste of resources, honestly. Tell you what, let's go out and do that. Let's go out and do that. And I can save myself on the Let's Play having to go out and do too much of the wrenching. And we can go kill some zombies and kind of change the pace up of the stream here. Whoops. What did I do with my frames? Did I stick them in here? I did. Need to make another spike club at some point. Yeah, uh, the logs burn longer. So the fuel burn time on this thing 
is two minutes and 30 seconds for a wood frame, you know? And um, if I had just some wood in my inventory, I could show you the difference. Uh, either frames or logs, you know, are the most efficient way of doing it. Let me jump off my bike here and take a look at the map. Now, we've cleared out this city and this city of cars, I'm pretty sure. Uh, that's not much of a city over there. I don't know how much of a city that is up there. But we need to kind of find a new place to go. I think that one's cleared out as well. We need to find a new town. And we've not done a whole lot of exploration on here. That's not much of a town down there. There's one over here that I doubt we've uh, done much to. I don't know what our situation is with water surrounding that. It's kind of a long way from where we're at. I guess... I guess we could go... Uh-oh. Let me get out of my base. I heard a zombie run up under me. Oh, there he is. Businessman. Businessman, why are you running in a circle? Whoa. Well, that's not something we've done in a while. We've not done any exploring. Well, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I'm looking for... Um, I'm looking for generator or a uh, engines. I'm looking for engines. And I'm looking for... Uh, electronic parts. Electrical parts. I'm just trying to find a place that's, you know, not so far away. Let's go to this city down here. Let's go to this city down here. I can't remember doing a whole lot of scavenging down there. Uh, maybe there's... Look at all that concrete's dried. Beautiful. Let's drive around the water here. What's up, Jordan Groves? Five sack. This is really live. It really is five sack. <laughs> Some come up in here thinking that when I post a replay that it's live, you know, and then they'll be talking. I'm like reading the comments, kind of getting a good chuckle out of that. Look at that car. Like a, a junkyard right out here in front of this person's home. Kind of reminds me of some of the houses somewhere. My, look at that 444 already up in here. No, I tell you, the best place for electronic uh, electrical parts is going to be your uh, your air conditioning units on the houses. That's a really good way to get them. But we need uh, we need engines. We're going to need a ton of engines but if we want to get serious with it. Look at this. Look at how many parts I just got off of that. I'm going to try to hit him with my wrench. Oh, look at that buck fan. Oh! Ah, uh, buck fan, Jake. K-E. Welcome. Good to have you, man. First time live. The Fabricator. Mr. Charles Bickerstaff. Welcome, all you fine people. Yeah, I'll be live again this evening. Probably about, uh, I don't want to get too far away from my mini bike. Uh, about 6 o'clock p.m. I'll be recovering from uh, some dental work that I'm getting done today. And hopefully the uh, hopefully the Novocaine would have worn off by then. How far are those eardrops from? Oh, they're out in the water. We're not going after those. Uh, but I should be live about 6, 7 p.m., something like that. We'll go for a couple few hours, and we'll be over on the stream series this evening. We're not going to be on this uh, Let's Play. This will be my Let's Play for the day once I publish this. Uh, I just thought we'd do it live so I could get as much work done as I could get. There's a cop over there. Oh, he didn't see me. Coppa. The coppa. Lady could never get tired of such a beautiful, wonderful game. 
It's always changing. It's always like a new game over and over and over every alpha, you know? It's like they keep adding stuff just like they're adding all of the automobiles, the Jeeps and motorcycles and all of that stuff. Oh, he doesn't even know where I'm at. And I can't hit him. I'm, ah, couldn't hit the broad side of a cop. Oh, he's down. Uh, well, our goal was to get over to this area right here. There's Feral White. Running up on me. The bottom of the antenna towers. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, we're, what we're really going for right now, along with that, uh, two birds, one stone, we're trying to get engines. You know, we're trying to get engines, electronic parts. We're going to need about a minimal of 500 watts in each generator. Um, I can't even tell you how many spotlights we're going to have. Oh, landmines. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I almost ran over about six landmines right there. I don't know how I made it through that. And we've already been in there and scavenged those cars. So if I could get engines now, it's going to save me down the road having to go with scrap cars. So we're just going to ride over to this city. We haven't been over to this city and uh, scavenged much that I can recall ever. And it's close by. We don't have to ride very far to get to it. There's a feather delivery system flying around right there. I really need that too for exploding crossbow bolts. Kind of don't want to take the space up, the feathers. But if he's going to come over here, it's like duck hunting, folks. It's like duck hunting. Except they're bigger and nastier. Yeah, well, it's like on PC, there's so many traps. And, and with the electricity they add on Alpha 16, I could make a hundred different bases. And they'd all be different. Uh, so far, I've only really explored a couple different styles on Alpha 16. Uh, a few. Uh, working on one on the stream series right now. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, it's going to take... Well, we figured it up. Uh, TCG and I were talking in Discord yesterday. And if I do it just with one stack of darts in each dart trap, it's going to take 156,000 darts to fill up all the dart traps. But if I fill them all the way up, if instead of that one slot, it would be like 470,000 darts I'm going to need. That's going to be a pretty cool build once we get it up and going. I may do that because we're going to have plenty of time for uh, for making darts. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm like the worst. I don't take I don't take the cars all the way out. I just take them down to the the third stage and then leave them. <laughs> That's awful. Yeah, one fine gaming experience. Yeah, yeah. I can vaguely recall that as a, a kid, a young child. Novocaine for the soul. That's right. Oh, yeah, look at all the cars out here, folks. We haven't been here to salvage cars, scavenge, whatever you want to call it. Oh, get another level on that. Oh, look at all these batteries we can scrap for lead. Probably engines too. You know, I need a workbench. I need a like a mobile workbench is what I need to bring along with me. I need to stick one in the mini bike and a land claim. And we could uh, compile some of this stuff. Or we could uh, consolidate. I guess is what I should say. No, nah, they didn't give up on console, but I don't think there was any guarantee that they would ever go past Alpha 14 on uh, console. You know, so anything you get beyond where you're at... Oh, those are blueberries. I thought those were taters. Anything you get past Alpha 14, feel fortunate. You know, because honestly, they didn't have to go past Alpha 14 from what I understood. Uh, that's as far as they guaranteed to uh, update it. But yeah, hopefully they continue to update for the sake of all of those console players out there. Well, 
we combine, if we had a workbench, combine all of my, uh, my engines. Yeah, all the good stuff, stage two, that's right. I just give up after stage two. No need to take those holes. Don't need that stuff. Well, I guess we have been over here, though. I see some cars that have been scrapped. There's a big biker. Whoop. Might as well grab some stuff like that while we're here, too. Grab these old lights. Yeah, that's right, uh, Buck fan. They can only do, uh, they can only, you know, do so much with a console. It's like PC is just unlimited. The more horsepower you have to throw at it, well, to a certain de degree or a certain point. Uh, still with PC, you're, you're still kind of limited. You know, I can't have any more than about, I guess I can push it to about 150 zombies on the screen at one time. Well, that's a feral radiated uh, something. Just because the game's not optimized, you know, you can't do but so much with it. Oh, well, that stinks. That stinks. Well, that's how it is, though, with the alphas. I remember back on alpha of either 13 or 14. I think it was 13. Having to restart over and over and over and over again uh, multiple times. Because of the patches, you know, and uh, that's just something you get used to with a, a game. I appreciate all the new alphas that they release. So every alpha is like a brand new game. And we'll leave those zombies. We'll let them sleep. They need their beauty sleep, kind of like Draco. Kind of like Draco needs his. Uh, oh, the booby trap, folks. The booby trap. I'm not really in the mood to shake my money maker, but uh, but there is the booby trap. Girls, girls, girls. Another buzz's bar. A lot of buzz's bar. Must be a chain. Bob's Cafe. Stop in for a burger at Bob's Cafe. How many engines are we up to? Nothing good. Like one. If we combine all of those into a purple engine, we have one engine so far. Ugh. If we find a gas station, I need to stop by there and see if they have a workbench so I can combine some of this stuff and consolidate. Cram it all together. A couple more cars. Oh! Here's a one full of money, two full of show. Three, you get ready to go, get go. Hey, Elvis didn't die, ladies and gentlemen. He just moved all straight, and there he is. Elvis himself. How you doing, Elvis? Good eye, Mike. It's probably a good time for you, right? These morning streams? Well, I don't know. What is it, 14 hours difference or something? I don't know what it is for you, man. But welcome. Good to have you. From all the way over there on the other side of the world. All right. Uh, well, there's one of those radio tower thingies. Let's see if the cooler's got some tasty meat stew. Nope, only a couple cans. So I think this is what some of you are talking about. Uh, well, maybe not that one, but that one could have the computer components up in there. But it's that radio tower thingy over here, right? Isn't this what you're talking about? Oh, you're about to head to bed. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, Elvis needs his beauty sleep, ladies and gentlemen. If he's going to shake his thing out there on stage and, and sing all of those wonderful tunes, he needs to sleep.
Ah, oh, they wrenched it all. Yeah, well, that happens. You know, that happens. You're playing on a server with other people. Those cars go away quickly. Yeah, this is a good way to get the electri uh, electrical parts and components. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's mini kin. You know what that means? That means lots of doggies and bears and wolves. She's gonna be pushing that red button, that fuzzy red button. Can you stack up to see the base from the top? Yeah, yeah, I'll do that when we get back. When we get back to the base. Look, man, I need to stand up and stretch my legs for a moment. I don't know why my back's kind of sore sitting here. I've been sitting down too much. All right. Well, did that. Do this. I'm gonna try to get these, uh, as many of these as we can get. We'll just do this one. I think there are two here, right? Maybe we should hang out and get them both. I don't know, I can collapse this tower. I don't think we need the scrap, but. Why would we need scrap for? I don't think we need scrap for anything. Maybe we're good on that right now. It's gonna collapse anyway once I take this out. I don't need to auger it. Yeah, that's right. If uh, if you want to get my attention, at Grand Spartan is a good way to do it. Otherwise, I may miss your beautiful comment. Let me catch my attention by doing that. Yeah, good morning, Minikin. Good morning. I'm a little nervous about what you might be bringing to the stream. We've already had, what, four wandering hordes already this morning? No dog, bear, or wolf hordes yet. <laughs> yet. I'm sure they're, uh, they're coming. Well, look at this. My uh, stamina doesn't drop now while I'm wrenching stuff. I'm able to wrench it in just a few clicks of the mouse. Yeah, Nabucco, I will do that when we get back to the base. Cosmic Show, I'm just guessing I'm envisioning that you're beautiful. Daniel Bagnardi! Daniel, we are on the Let's Play series right now, sir. We are not on the stream series. We're on the Let's Play series. This is your Let's Play episode for the day right here. I am envisioning a beautiful person. Let's check and see what we're up to here for uh, electronic parts and components. We are up to 422. We can stack them to 1,000, though. We're gonna make this whole thing fall down is what we're gonna do. Yep, this is your let's play for the day. We'll get to the stream series tonight. Uh, some things I needed to do that are gonna take a lot of time up on the let's play episodes. We only get about 45 minutes a day on that. Uh, five days a week. Uh, we'll get back to the let's or the uh, stream series tonight around 6 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, we'll get that kicked up, fired up, going again. Get some uh, work done on that base. That base is coming along. It really is. All the dart traps and uh, electric fence posts and all the stuff that we're doing there. Hope to have that. Uh, hope to have that base done here in the next month or so. We keep making progress like we've been making it. Absolutely, will be done. 
Yeah, the thumbnail says that. It does. Uh, I tried to change that right before the stream. And uh, the, the file size was too large or something. So I said, ah, we'll, just, we'll just let it go. Because when I publish this in a couple hours, it'll say, uh, it'll say let's play episode what, 145 or whatever it's going to be. Gotcha. Gotcha. I hear a zombie, but I don't see a zombie. Hear no zombie, see no zombie. We'll probably call the uh, the wrenching of the electronic parts, electrical parts, once we finish this tower here. We're going to watch this thing come crashing down in a moment. I need myself a... Uh, a faster way of doing this is what I need. This is a pretty slow process. Yeah, yeah, they're all going to be painted black. We only painted one black so far. We're going to paint them all black. But I need to extend those pits a bit. Oh my goodness! I'll hit you with my wrench. Get off me. Over here trying to work. You should know that best, construction worker. Leave me alone while I'm trying to work. Yeah, it's starting to come together over there on the stream series, though. Well, hopefully things go well at that uh, dentist visit I have today. When I get back this evening and I'm not too novocained up to talk properly, speak properly. And we'll go at least two or three hours this evening if I can and try to get... I don't know what it was we were doing on the stream series last week. I can't recall. We might have a horde inbound soon on there. I forgot what day it was when we left off of there. We'll probably just take it. Oh, no, no. We finished the, the, the horde, the wood shack horde. Remember? That was like one of the last things we did, right? This thing's going to fall on my head. You watch. Hopefully it doesn't fall on my head. Well, it can be relaxing, Cosmic. Unless I'm all screaming and shouting and yelling and hollering, then it's not so relaxing. Listen to the sound of my voice as you work. Just don't fall asleep. Your boss would not be very happy with you. Unless you are your own boss. In which case, who cares? If you fall asleep or not. Well, last little bit, and then I guess we'll just take the auger and auger up whatever, you know, left over of the collapse of this tower. A little bit at a time. <laughs> Some of you are like dropping out because they're like, oh man, this is the most boring thing I've ever watched before. Relaxing voice or not, I'm going to fall asleep to this. Don't do that. It's too early in the day to fall asleep. Sip on your coffee. What are we up to now? 783 electrical uh, parts here. 295 electronic components. Let me go ahead and scrap these batteries too. Another sort. I'm gonna eat some yucca. Sounds like a dog eating. Is it gonna fall? No, it didn't fall. It's gonna fall soon, though. It's gonna fall any time now. Yeah, I got the caffeine pumping over here. Got it over here. I was up at about, I don't know, 5.45 this morning or something like that. I woke up and uh, did a little path of exile early on. And uh, got all showered up, a little bit of breakfast. And here we are since about 7.45. It's 
So how many is it going to take to make this thing fall? Look at that. We're going to get all of them except for the one in the center. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's balancing, folks. It's balancing. It's magic. And here we go. I gotta get ready to run. Run for your life, Grand Spartan! Oh, what a refuel at a bad time that was. It's kind of noisy. We're used to that relaxing, wrenching sound. And then there comes the auger. Um, I throw that little bit of stone out. I didn't mean to nick that. Well, that wasn't a lot of scrap. Oh, yeah, it was. 10,000. All right. 10,436 scrap in that little tiny bit of stuff that fell. Yeah, the helicopter lighting, that was, uh, that's Rotor Self Winding's favorite of all the things I've done. He enjoys that the most. Whoa! Off with his head. Well, since we're here, we might as well get the last little bit of remaining electronic components and parts out of the inside of this building. And we'll be done with this thing. Somebody can tear it down. Look at that. We almost broke our wrench over here. My goodness. If you didn't know it, these flat pipe that look like they're round, but they're not 3D, but they're not. Yeah, those things give electronic parts too. Electrical parts. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you got to respect the grind of this game. It's just part of it. If we're going to make uh, hundreds of spotlights, then we're going to need thousands of electronic parts. Yeah, it's just part of it. We'll have to mark this city, though. We mark this city. We mark this city for electrical parts. Uh, we're going to have to mark it and come back over here at some point, because I don't think even with what we're making for electrical parts, we're going to have enough to make the spotlights we need to make. We're almost done. We'll head on back to the base. Yeah, always fine-tuning that propeller light design. Whoa, come on. One more light. Nope. Last light right here. I just heard an explosion. Do you hear that? Where did that come from? Must be a military base around here. Oh, an electric uh, air conditioning unit. And some more pipes along the back. Boy, we we really did scavenge this place, uh, salvage this place to the ground. Might as well auger the building down. <laughs> it's nothing, nothing of worth or value left here, folks. Oh yeah, look at that, last bit. Yeah, I'm not going to do the other tower, though, Draco. We'll leave that for another day. I'll come back over there another day and get that. I think we're good. You know, we, we have 500 parts at the base crafting. Well, that's a wandering horde. And we have 1,061 parts there. But before I leave, uh, let's mark this. Save it as... Parts. Only 
I think I named that wrong, but I'm kind of in a rush here because Wandering Horde inbound. I don't even think we're going to worry about that Wandering Horde. And there's another building right there that would have electrical parts, uh, electronic parts, and uh, components. Well, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here and head back home. Looks like we can follow this road up here. There's a car. Ooh, barn. A barn is a dangerous place. Dogs spawn in barns. Stay away from them. So we'll follow this road on around and back up to here. And then our base is right there. Maybe we'll come across some cars or something. Tell you what, I'm gonna suck down one of these little fruit thingies here. This is for a mini Spartan. I had to steal one. <laughs> She's not gonna be happy. Buddy Fruits Original Pure Blended Fruit. Real fruit, real fun, real easy. 100% fruit, nothing else. Let me check the uh, expiration date before I suck this thing down. Oh, yeah, we're good. Well, that was pretty tasty. I'm not gonna lie. Apple banana is the flavor. I'm gonna eat two. I'm gonna have two. I don't know what song that is uh, that you're making reference to there, 330. All these cars are just wrenched up. There's a trader right there. We can stop by the trader. Can I get to the trader? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're coming up on him. We'll stop by that trader and see what he has. He might have some electrical parts and uh, spotlights as well. A little bit of duct tape. Tell you what, we're going to scrap those batteries. Let's see what Mr. Trader Man has. I'm going to grab myself a little a seltzer water out of a little mini fridge up here. We got mini Ken, mini fridge, mini Spartans, all kind of mini things. Get up in here and see what Mr. Trader Joe Bob has to offer today. What do you have, sir? Put away your weapon I don't have a weapon. His vegetable stew. Insulators. Headlights. All right, so we got to get some money because uh, we need those headlights. The Golden Rod T ad. I tell you what. Uh, I can bring that up while I am wrenching, or I'm wrenching, while I am talking to Mr. Trader Joe Bob here. Let me uh, let me get it going for you. Playlist here, and here we go. Listen to what Tom has to say about Golden Rod Tea, folks. Are you looking to re-energize? rehydrate, or just relax? If you answered yes to any or all of these, then Goldenrod Tea is the drink for you. If you're parched and worn down from a long day of augering, scavenging, chopping wood, or simply smashing zombies' faces, then have yourself a tall glass of Goldenrod Tea. It will have you feeling refreshed and energized instantly. Meet Tom and listen to what he has to say after trying Goldenrod Tea. Hi, I'm Tom, and I'm a novice game survivor, but I didn't have any stamina. I didn't feel like gathering resources, scavenging, or even defending my base. Then I discovered Goldenrod Tea. Wow, what a difference this made. 
Don't let the post-apocalypse blues keep you down. Go get yourself some goldenrod tea today. See, ladies and gentlemen, it really does work. Don't waste away the day sitting around your base. Go get yourself some goldenrod tea today. Goldenrod tea. Tasty to the last drop. They call swelling, blurry vision, diarrhea, stinky pee, discoloration. Wait, what? Contact your local physician before consuming. Grand Spartan approved. Yes, it is, folks. Grand Spartan approved. So, uh, where are we at? I don't have that trader marked. Let's trade. Let's mark the trader real quick. Let me grab a drink out of my mini fridge. Oh, yeah, there you go. <gasps> Whoa. Yeah, he's like, wait, what? Stinky pee? Wait, what? And he didn't know. He just picked Tom up off the street. So, uh, we need to spin around this way. Head on back to the base, get things sorted. Eating some raisins here. The golden raisins. I like the golden raisins. I don't, I mean, the regular raisins are good. They're okay. But I like golden raisins. Those things are top, top shelf. How far are those airdrops away from us? Oh, they're way across the uh, water. We're almost back to the base. Look at that. I didn't realize we were so close to it. We just made a big circle. That's all we did. Yeah. All right, Andre, Luis. Ah, keep running into everything, trying to read your chat. Running into all kinds of things here. Well, that's good stuff. Lime seltzer water. Can't beat that with a stick. Looks like that's where we mined some clay or dug some clay up. I guess you don't mine clay. Dig it up. Well, we'll have a huge project moving forward, folks, with our lighting going around the base. It's gonna take it's gonna take a long time. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's gonna take a long time. But you can blame Draco. Ah, oh, Glimpse, what gave you permission to stay up so late that you can't wake up early enough for the Grand Spartan stream? And there it is, folks. Even the sound cut out a little bit. Because <laughs> I had to render it in. Uh, we're all set up. It's going to take us... I tell you what. I was going to end it right now, but... Let's take a look at some textures for the floor. And what color we might paint it. Before we end it. You know what I mean? There's a zombie. Pick up my door so the zombie can't walk inside. Sucker. Oh, there's a wandering horde? Or just a couple zombies? Just a couple zombies. Cosmic show. I don't know how much bigger I can get than this sucker right here. I mean, that's huge. That's a huge base. <laughs> That's about as big as we can get. If we get any bigger, it'll just be, uh, we won't be able to render the whole thing in. 
So what do we need for a spotlight? Well, we need lights, headlights. I think we have everything else here that we need, right? Spotlight, spotlight, spotlight. Let's take those electrical parts. So the do-it-yourself... Uh, oh, we need iron. No? Duct tape. The do-it-yourself perk is good and all, but it's just not... It's just not efficient enough for me. I think, you know, going out and doing what we just did, only 64. What are we limited to here? Ooh, oh, headlights. Can you make a headlight? Oh, you can't make a headlight. Well, that kind of that kind of puts a little cramp in our uh, plans here. We have plenty of those. I didn't think about that. That you can't make a headlight. Hmm. Well, we're gonna have to rethink that strategy then, because we're gonna need. Maybe we can buy those from the trader, but still, yeah, we're gonna have to wrench more cars, folks. So we need from the cars, we need the engines, electrical parts, the uh, the headlights especially. Because out of all of those cars we just wrenched, we didn't get a whole lot of headlights. You know, not a whole lot. Me, oh, we already used up our lid, and we're almost out of glass. Let's get 10k more sand and stick up in there. Not even worried about shotgun shells for the horde. We'll just take them on out in the street. Uh, we take them on. Now we're still cooking that down. Put our lid up in here from the batteries, and we're gonna grab these engines up. All, ah, those are even a waste right there. I don't even know why we have those brown engines. We could just smelt those in a forge or something, I guess. Is there an engine in there? No, we stripped the engine out of that one. Let's go over here to our workbench real quick. I got a workbench. Boo, 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 boo. 591, 600. All right, that's one 600 engine. More of those we have, the uh, fewer we have to have in each generator. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, we could probably use a brown engine to top that off, the 600. So, put those together. Makes a blue. Can we get it purple? Looks like we might be able to get it purple. Yes, we can. Well, all those engines we just went and got gave us three 600s and a 529. So got a lot more engines to go to get the amount of power we're going to need for this uh, crazy build we're working on here. Uh, get those repair kits out. Well, we do have enough stuff to make another mini bike. I can make a couple things in the forge and, uh, and we could do that. Mr. Tom Brookins. Third stage. You can get them from third stage cars. I didn't know that. Fallout King. Thing much. I don't understand. Uh, Rotor Self Winding. We're gonna we are gonna do something a bit different, my friend. Draco, uh, he twisted my arm yesterday. Uh, I wasn't gonna put you all through it, but you know, he suggested that I do it. Go big or go home. So we're going big with it, man. It's going to be a little different. We're going to use a similar design of what I showed you yesterday on yesterday's episode. Uh, but it's going to be a lot bigger and a lot bolder. Go up here and look at it. Well, that's what it looks like from above, folks. Uh, it's coming along. Need to get a new screenshot. But we got to get the, the concrete painted. I got to figure out what color I'm going to do that. Yeah, what texture I'm going to use. And... Uh, yeah, we'll get that done, maybe another stream. But Monday's episode, when we fire the Let's Play back up, we're going to start working on that exterior lighting for sure. I got the design down, the idea how I want to do it. We just need to make it really big and wrap around the entire base and uh, figure out how we're going to do the generators and all of that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call it for the morning. Uh, I will be back this evening about 6 p.m. Eastern Time. 
I'll be all Novocaine'd up from the dentist. <laughs> so it should be fun. Oh, there's a screamer coming this way. And uh, But we're definitely going to do it this evening. And we'll be back on the stream series this evening. It won't be the Let's Play. It'll be the stream series. We're going to go work on, on that uh, that big giant four free fall pit base that uh, we started several weeks ago. And try to get that closer to completion. I'm going to see if I can't pop her with a exploding crossbow bolt. Make her jump for joy. Yes, indeed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all have yourselves a good day and come back and join me this evening. I uh, thank you for your support here this morning. Good time getting some concrete work done and a little bit of uh, salvaging, scavenging. But uh, have a good one, and I'll see you all later on.